Uh, what is all of this? Super meat gun, very fast. Fortune's favor, use for luck. Um, enemy bullets go wide. An experimental device worn by a particularly lucky gun gungeoneer. In the end, it wasn't enough to save her life, but it certainly extended it. Gunbow, the failed experiment. You're raging? That's what I'm here for, to make people rage. Fires a large ricochet round in an attempt to combine the combat efficiency of bullets with the stealth and recoverability of arrows. Modern archers developed the gunbow. Though it proved ineffective in normal combat, it has taken on a new life in the gungeon. Oh, ho, 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 ho. The ring of chests friendship. Chest friends forever. Sorry, I have to like, I should pick up everything and check them all at once, but increases the chance of finding chests. Nice. The ring was the first given to Winchester, largely due to a naming mix-up. With little use for treasure, Winchester eventually gave it away as a prize in one of his strange games. I have no idea who Winchester is. Old Goldie for the discerning. Scattershot. Quantity over quality. Smoke bomb vanish. And aged bell. Alright, so we're gonna have to decide what we want to keep in a moment here. I'm sorry, rainbow chest. Why do I already have a rainbow chest? Um. Oh no, I got that. Nobody can kill me, snake. I just want to die. They call me fortune, but I just want to die. A masterwork shotgun. The right answer isn't always a gun that shoots bees, a water gun, or a flaming hand. Sometimes all you need is a simple concept executed immaculately. This gold-trimmed, double-barreled shotgun represents the best of traditional gun craft. You can steal from the shops with smoke bombs. What? What? Right, what is this? Briefly stops time. This bell appears to be made of different materials at different times. The morphled tones it emits echo forwards and backwards. Some claim that they can hear it before it rings. That could be super useful, especially with this shotgun. Like, if you stop a boss, get within melee range, and just constantly hit them with, like, the shotgun and the potion, I might actually go with the bell and the potion. Stealing things sounds awesome, but... Alright, what is this? More bullets, less damage. Okay, so you have some decent choices, but definitely potion, smoke ball, fortunes. Well, let's see here. So potion is a definite. You're thinking not the bell? Does the bell not work on bo bosses? Is kind of the question. And there's this thing here that we have to take, right? Because that's that's bullet proofness, I guess. So we have to go with two. So I guess we're gonna go without the smoke bombs. We already have a lot of stuff. You, apparently you should be, Cat, because I just do not understand the depth of whatever everything I is I'm finding here. I just don't know enough about the game to make, uh... You always feel underwhelmed by the bell. Well, we'll try it on a different run. I think I'm gonna die soon, though. My health is super low. What are these? get out of his <laughs> oh there we go 330 plus ones oh okay so i really should be feeling bad about this all right i have no idea what's up in this room but i think we're leaving that's there's no door over there so oh thanks for the aged bell noodle thanks for the smoke bomb noodle oh it's a rat Rat stealing my stuff. You dirty rat.
Railgun. Definitely Railgun this one. Oh, I forgot I had this thing. When you leave a room, he takes guns, armor, ammo, and items. Never takes keys, hearts, or blanks, though. Oh! I think we might have to go with this gun just because it bounces forever and ever and ever. Seriously! Get out of here, Tables! I don't need you! I don't need you no more! Dude, the reload on this gun is insane! I am so low on health, though. Like, I am super worried about that. Please don't let me die to one of these small pathetic ones! Anything but the small pathetic ones! ANYTHING! Rail plus scatter? Okay, I gotta try some of these before I die, because, uh... Nice. That is cool. Oh, I forgot about Fortune's Favor. I am so bad at using my secondary items, what I would not give right now for a med kit. Well, other than moving much, much faster, that gun doesn't seem to be at all different. I'm gonna stick with the um, meat gun, though. Alright, how do I use... I have spacebar, right? Vulcan Cannon. Oh, another Metal Gear Solid reference. Reference. Huh. Alright. Now, unfortunately, all the guns in the world aren't going to save me because I have no health, but... Do we have any idea where the shop is at all? Like, a vague idea. Well, we know where it's not. It's got to be in this direction somewhere. We're going to stick with the meat gun, though. Because we can hit things around corners. Bro, screw you! <laughs> Everybody, technically, like, this is my first run with this character, and I've been playing for less than two hours. All of this is beginner's luck. So, I mean... Fill the room with bullets! Key, nice. I still need the- God, I need the shop so bad. But, do I wish I could steal some hearts now? If I could find the shop, I'd be happy to buy hearts. I haven't found the shop. But I would not give for my dog to find me some hearts. Dude, did that just drop a whole bunch of boulders? Alright, what is going on over there? Oh, it's a bunch of dynamite. Um, alright, that's cool. Where was my map? No! Ah. I couldn't see it. All right, what killed me in the end there? Oh, it was the ghost. He appeared on me. 
That's dirty. That is dirty. Ugh. That was cool. Alright, so I think the only character we haven't tried yet is the Marine. Oh, no, I don't want to restart with her. I want to... Okay, so the only character we haven't tried is the Marine, so return to Breach. Alright, so what is his special thing? Alright, one second. Infinite ammo does not reveal secret walls. The marine sidearm was brought to the gungeon by a low-ranking Primadine soldier. Though this gun appears sturdy, it has known to fail when it is needed most. Calls in an ammo drop. Oh, that's kind of nice. And, um... Memories of your years in training. Better reload speeds and weapon accuracy. Oh! That sounds pretty awesome. First person I did was the pilot, and I kind of liked him the most, just because, like, I could carry more stuff. He's basic. Um, so I think I just want to, like, buy this stuff, right? I found her on, like, my first run. So let's just buy all this crap. An excellent choice. Alright, so let's see how he's different. Okay, so bullets pretty much go where you want them to. That's kind of nice. Oh, he has a helmet. That's nice. Okay, so he starts off with armor. And that's kind of like his big and only thing, I'm guessing. Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah! Getting some stuff for the Gungeon. Thank you, Cat. Oh, super appreciative. Oh, that's it. There we go. Marine's the last one you cleared the game with. Don't know why, but his endgame was a pain. Oh, do they... Does each character have a different, like, endgame? Or, like, a different story for the end? Or... Oh, they're teleporting. I was just like, what are these puffs of smoke? Alright, so I was told I can roll over the small one, so let's try that. Nice! Alright, that'll save ammo for different guns. Really? Just a big empty room, huh? I don't buy- oh, this gun can't reveal secret rooms anyway. Alright. Alright, there's the shopkeeper. We're not going to even bother going to see him until we have a purpose to. Either when the dungeon's done or if we need a key. I'll have to look up how to do some things. We'll see. I think it's way too early to start thinking about things like that. I mean, I just started the game, you know, day. Hours ago. A couple of hours ago. Ooh. No, I don't actually mind these uh, big sword bros. They they don't seem to be that strong, at least not by themselves. Oh, I counted wrong. <laughs> 